All right, this is fifth grade module one, lesson two. And in this lesson, we are going to continue talking about place value. And we're going to continue multiplying and dividing by power. Oops, dividing. <laughs> there we go. By powers of 10, multiplying and dividing by powers of 10. Only this time, we're going to start to reason a little bit and come up with that traditional shortcut of moving decimals to the left or to the right rather than the digits to the left or the right. The big difference, however, is we want students to come at that understanding through the mathematics rather than just being forced to memorize some cute little shortcut. So let's get working. So we're beginning with solve. So we're going to start by writing 36,000, and there it is, 36,000, and it says to multiply by 10. And so we've learned that when you multiply by 10, each of the digits moves one column to the left. So the 3 in the th in the 10,000s place goes into the 100,000s place. The 6 goes here, and everything gets moved. So the 0 gets moved, the 0 gets moved, the 0 gets moved. And so the idea is, well, what would go here? Well, you can think of it as a 0 was there, as in no tenths. And so now that zero can move here. Other students think of it as if there's a blank space, you can fill it in with a zero. That's kind of an, an understandable way of rationalizing. And so there's our answer. Our answer is uh, uh, 360,000. And then if we're going to divide by 10, uh, the idea would be each of those digits gets moved one column to the right because it's getting smaller. So this three would actually move to here. This six would go here. The zero would go here. This zero would go here. And then consequently that zero would go there, which is not necessary. Those trailing zeros is not necessary. Um, so the answer is 3,600. So the idea would be let's look back and see what happened. Well, if we can look, we went from having three zeros to all of a sudden we now have four zeros. Let's put in our, there, our comma there, and let's put in a comma here. And then uh, in the next example, let's look back and see what we did. Well, we went from three zeros to two zeros. So the idea might be if you multiply by 100, you might add a zero. If you divide by 10. Wait, did I say multiply by 100? If you multiply by 10, you add a 0. If you divide by 10, you chop off a 0. That might be one way to think of it. Um, remember, though, teachers and parents, really what the kids should be thinking about is the fact that the digits are moving in columns based on if we're multiplying or if we're dividing. More practice. Uh, only this time, Let's start with the number 4.54, so it's 4 and 54 hundredths. And because we are multiplying by 1,000, that means we know that, that our digits are going to move three columns to the left because they're going to get bigger. So this 4 is going to go 1, 2, 3, all the way over to here. And the 5 is going to move all the way to here. The 4 is going to move all the way to here. And then what goes in this blank space right here? A 0. And why? Well, because you could think of it as 0 thousandths, and then the 0 would get placed there. Or you could think of it as, hey, we filled in that blank space. So our answer is 4,540. Now, what happened? Let's look back and say, well, what happened? Well, the decimal used to be right here, but now the decimal got moved to here, as in right here, after the zero. And so what happened to our decimal? Well, the decimal looks like it used to be between the 4 and the 5. Coincidentally, that's where the comma is, but that's a coincidence. And now the decimal kind of moved to the right. But really, teachers, 
it's not so much that the decimal got moved to the right. Really what happened is our digits got moved to the left. See, our digits got moved to the left, which makes the decimal look like it's moving to the right. Does that make sense? I kind of like it this way better. So anyway, let's do one last practice right here on this screen. So we've got the 4, 5, 4, 0, 3. So we've got 3,045 and 4 tenths. Now we are dividing by 100, which means each of those digits is going to move two places to the right. So the 4 goes there. The 5 goes here. The 4 goes here. And then there's the decimal. And then the 0 goes here. And then the 3 goes here. And so our answer becomes 30.454. Let's look back and say, well, what happened? Well, the decimal used to be between the 5 and the 4, but now the decimal is between the 0 and the 4. So it looks like the decimal has moved two places to the left. I prefer to think of it as really the digits moved two places to the right, which makes the decimal look like it moved to the left. But there we go. We're looking for the patterns. Real briefly, let's put this into practice using words uh, with a word problem. So it says, Ted says that 3 tenths multiplied by 100 equals 300 thousandths. Is he correct? Let's use a place value chart. So here's our place value chart. And it says here's 3 tenths because it says so. Now we're going to multiply that by 100. Well, we know that if you multiply 3 tenths by 100, we know that that 3 is going to move two columns to the left. And so what goes in this blank space right here? A 0. So 3 tenths multiplied by 100, that equals 30. Now, 300 thousandths, what would 300 thousandths look like? Well, 300 thousandths would squeeze in right there, but we, that's not an appropriate way to write 300 thousandths. So the appropriate way to write 300 thousandths would be like this, 300 zero, zero, with a decimal right there. So this is 300 thousandths. And since 30 is not the same thing as 0 .300, zero, that means Ted is incorrect. He is incorrect. And we've used a place value chart to show that. Last example, Alaska has a land area of 1,700,000 square kilometers. Florida has a land area one-tenth of that. So that means we're going to divide by 10. Well, we've now learned that if you're going to divide by 10, nice shortcut for doing that in this case is to just chop off a zero. And so Florida is 170,000 square kilometers. Now, another way to think of it is to say, well, 1,700,000. So we're starting with Alaska. And where is the decimal in this number? If we were to put it in a place value chart, the decimal would be right here. And we learned that when you divide by 10, each of, those, each of these digits moves one column to the right, which makes the decimal look like it's moving one column to the left. And so there's another way to show that the answer is, and in this case, we no longer need the commas there. Now we need the comma right there. So two different ways to show that the answer is 170,000 square kilometers. And that wraps up 5th grade module 1, lesson 2, moving those decimals around 
as we are multiplying and dividing by powers of 10.